sir so if you call it as sir you will be rejected in interview okay <laughs> so please remember that one so call with name okay anyone you need to call with the name either first name or a last name okay so don't call with anyone any person with the sir or a madam okay just call with the name okay okay guys so do you remember right what yesterday class we discussed uh, can anyone tell me um, what is structural testing what is structural testing guys anyone? structural testing is done by the developer to check uh -huh. the uh, hmm. right. go ahead whichever code he has written hmm. it hmm. should be correct. correct or not it's working or not yes absolutely good so you can frame your own sentence yes that is correct but uh, that's absolutely correct okay so you need to tell them uh, uh, structural testing is done by developers because they know the internal logic right they know the code okay yes. the structural testing is also we can call it as what white box testing okay right. yeah white box testing uh, generally we can call it as what unit level testing or a component testing okay uh who will do the black box testing Anyone? the qa team will do the black box testing yes the qa how they will do the testing they uh, they not write any code right then how they will test the application uh, with the requirement and uh, hmm, with requirement and yeah, no problem what about requirements and what about other guys can you speak out and everyone need to speak functionality yeah yeah functionality yes requirements and functionality good so how we are testing we don't know coding right we don't know anything then how we will test okay how you are testing amazon application how you are testing flipkart application how you are testing the banking application you are not you are not writing the code then how you will test simple logic they will provide the requirements yeah go ahead you are saying something they will provide uh, the ID and password yes so they will yeah you are giving the username and password also they will give the requirements right without requirements we cannot do anything that's right so that's just one of the most important one so what is bva can anyone what is bva testing uh, sorry bva technique what is called bva yesterday we heard right every day i will ask the question guys right? what is BVA? value analysis yes it's a boundary value analysis right so minimum value minus one and maximum value plus one plus one right plus yeah one. simply yeah simply you can test any kind of things like a username should be uh, four to fifteen characters so in that case what a technique we can use bva what is called bva boundary value analysis analysis okay. yes simple guys. simply we can learn the testing okay we can play and we can learn these things okay no need to buy hard guys so it's very easy okay what is positive testing and what is negative testing can anyone what is positive testing guys and what is negative testing what is the positive testing and what is negative testing guys So positive testing means what? So you need to provide the valid data. What is meaning of valid data? You need to give the valid credentials, username, password, you need to give the valid one, okay? That kind of testing, we can call it as what? Positive testing. What about negative testing? Negative testing means what? You need to provide the invalid data. Invalid data, you should not allow, okay? Simple example, I told you, right? If any, exam, if any application, what you will do? If you give the valid data, Hey guys can you please confirm are you able to see my screen right yes sir okay good thank yes. you yeah good again you are saying sir okay please avoid that one call with any name okay sri or srini or srinivas or anything you can call me but please avoid the sar the sar word you need to avoid if you really want to come to the software side please do not call anybody as a sar okay please forget that word okay and delete on your mind okay just call with the name hi kartik hi ramya hi hi anything okay just call with the name okay don't call with the sar or madam okay that's fine 
okay so here what is positive testing you need to give the see exact uh, valid valid username valid password if you give the valid valid username valid password if you click the login button what will happen it will take us a respect to page what is the respect to page dashboard page should come okay so this kind of testing what we can call positive testing so because i'm giving what uh, valid in uh, valid credentials okay now what is negative testing what is meaning of negative testing see i'm not giving the uh, user name okay i'm giving abc okay I, i'm the password is also i'm giving what abc okay so i know this both are invalid in this case also it should not allow in case it is allowing to dashboard me that is the bug no need to ask whether it is bug or not okay it should not allow see it is asking what incorrect username or a password say this is what real time testing do not read the things try to understand the concept if you understand the concept tomorrow also interview means you can easily attend the interview okay no need to refer notes also try to understand what is positive testing what is negative testing question yourself okay why what is testing what is meaning of testing testing is nothing but to check whether the application or a software or a product whether it is working as per the given requirements or not what are the types of testing structural and functional okay what is structural testing white box testing who will do the white box testing the developer will do the white box testing and who will do the black box testing the black box testing is done by the qa team how they will do the testing okay the based on requirements and functionality what is meaning of functionality see there are a lot of difference between login functionality and reset functionality can anyone tell me what is the what is the functionality of reset can anyone tell me what is the functionality of reset reset means what what is the functionality of reset uh, valid user id and password no no reset reset what is the functionality of reset what is the behavior of reset i think it should clear the correct it should clear the username and password say reset it will be clear the username and password but here it is showing still it is showing the username because it is having some condition okay we will i will explain when the project will come okay don't worry we will see we will work on this project completely a live application we will work okay we will see the how we can create the entire the project okay we will see entire the application okay how we can work with the stock hello sir driver ramesh the number is okay someone is in unmute okay okay that's fine so yeah this is what uh, yeah today is one of the most important guys uh, today is one of the most important session what is stlc so 100% intrigue question guys who are going with the fresher level no doubt at all that definitely they will ask you this question what is sdlc what is called sdlc sdlc is nothing but what software development life cycle okay every organization every organization they follow what sdlc process okay this is one of the most important one it is not for only testing it is every see even developer also they will ask this question do you know what is sdlc okay don't think that it is only belongings to testing okay so so what you need to understand this one is one of the most important entry question in interview okay what is sdlc sdlc is nothing but what software development life cycle okay let's see what is it what is this sdlc is a process followed for a software project every organization every organization uh, anything microsoft google or any i uh, any big companies okay not only big companies any it companies they follow what sdlc process okay let's see what is this sdlc is the process followed for a software project within a software organization it consists of detailed plan describing how to develop see when all the project will come right we will not start immediately testing don't think we uh, will not start immediately first what we need to do we need to how to develop how to maintain the project how to replace the project in case the requirement is changed how we need to do that okay any alternate okay if this is not working then what we need to do we need to go for alternative 
enhancements means what a new functionality always we are giving what new functionality to the end users okay so each and everything is defined in way in sdlc process so that's the reason every organization every organization they follow what sdlc process what is called sdlc software development life cycle understanding right so this life cycle defines the methodology for improving the quality of the software see if you for what reason we are doing the testing quality how you define the quality to justification of all the requirements what are the requirements is given i am fulfill all the requirements means definitely you will get a quality product no doubt at all in business also forget about testing forget about it in your business also if you fulfill all the customer requirements definitely you will get what quality product no need to google no need to refer anything just you need to fulfill user requirement user user what user is expecting what user will how this application is useful for the user you need to think and you need to develop any application that 100% it will give the success rate no doubt at all understanding right so what are the how you can say it is a quality product justification of all the requirements if you fulfill all the requirements definitely you will get a quality product okay in sdlc why we are following the sdlc without follow without follow the without following the sdlc also, also we can release the product but might be it will fail okay so that's the reason every organization they follow what sdlc process okay the life cycle defines the methodology for improving the quality of the software uh, and overall uh, development process okay when all the project will come right they start with what sdlc okay so see this is one of the most important when the project will come what what is the first phase the first phase is what you will not do the testing right the first phase is what requirement capturing when the project will comes to the organization what they will do they won't start immediately testing first phase is what uh, the requirement they gather the requirements okay once the requirements we got then what we need to do analysis analysis part is one of the most important one okay because all the things we cannot do right all the things we cannot uh, we can, it's not possible so the next phase is what analysis whether we can do or not okay now i got a project resources is not there then resources are very very important you are thinking that hr job is easy no hr job is very tough candidate is offering yes i will join tomorrow but tomorrow the candidate is not joined he got another opportunity he left that organization he will choose other organization i need to fulfill that uh, position there understanding right you are thinking hr job is very easy no you need to schedule the interview you need to select the candidate you need to follow up the candidate you need to give the offer we don't know whether the candidate is joined within the date or not we don't know so there are a lot of risk will be there analysis is there everything you need to analysis once the requirement is there we cannot uh, go with all the requirements uh, once we got the requirements we need to go for analysis okay once the analysis part is done then what we need to do we need to go for a design part so where we are going the design part okay so designs are very very important okay once the design part is done again low level design and high level designs okay low level design means anyone can understand okay high level design means means only only who are experts right they can only understand the high level high level uh, diagrams okay that is one of the most important one after design see after design what we need to do coding so once the coding is completed now we are involved testing team is involved interview question in what phase you are involved in sdlc in what phase you are involving you need to say in testing phase most of the people never read only they will read uh, sdlc or requirement analysis designing coding testing they will read like that if i ask this question they will not able to answer in what phase you are involved in sdlc in what phase you are involved testing phase simple answer within the question itself the answer is there but most of the people are what they they are not uh, they are uh, they don't know how to answer that question okay simple in what phase we are involving i am not involving in requirements i am not involving in analysis i am not involving in design i am not involving in the coding i involved in where 
in the testing phase. So as a tester, you always involve in SDLC phase in which phase in the testing phase. So without coding, you cannot do the testing, right? Once the code is completed, then only you can do the testing. You need to remember this point, okay? Once the testing is completed, then what we need to do? Implementation means we are going for the release. Once the release is done, then what you need to do? Support and maintenance. Once the product will release in the market, then what we need to do? Again, we need to give what? Support and maintenance. You need to give the support and maintenance you need to provide. Understanding, right? So can we do 100% of testing? Is it possible? Can you can we do 100% of testing? Is it possible, guys? Yes or no? I know, sir. No, we cannot uh, do 100% of testing. No one will cannot do 100% of testing because once the release is went out, right? Might be some issues will come. Might be, might be. Okay. So some issues will come. That issues we need to fix. So that support team. You can also go for a support also. Okay. Uh, you can go work with the support uh, team also okay and just get the ticket so, so what end users will do end users will raise the ticket you need to understand the ticket and you need to give the proper uh, reply to them okay proper information to send to the clients understanding right so this is what sdlc process one of the most important entry question so what is sdlc software development life cycle it starts with what requirement capturing analysis designing coding testing implementation and support and maintenance you cannot break this cycle you cannot say i remember coding requirement analysis i mean support and maintenance you cannot say like that you cannot break this cycle okay because based on the requirements only we can go for analysis based on the analysis only we can go for the design based on the design only we can go for a coding based on the coding only we can do the testing without coding we cannot do testing okay so please remember this one and after the testing what we need to do we need to go for implementation means we are going with the release okay so once the implementation is done then we can go for a support and maintenance. So is it clear guys? Anybody have any question here? Please free to ask guys. Okay. Anybody have any question here? Is it clear? So in what phase you are involved in SDLC? Can anyone answer? In what phase Testing you are involved phase. in SDLC? Testing. Yeah, yes. Testing phase. Yes. Correct. Is it clear? Shall I move? Yes. Okay. So this is one of the most important without requirement. We cannot go for analysis analysis after analysis. We need to go for the design uh, After design we need to go for a coding after coding testing will come. Don't worry You will not involve all the areas only you involved in the testing only. Okay, so don't think too much also Okay, people are thinking too much. Okay. I need to involve requirements. I need to involve analysis I need to involve don't think too much just simply what the task is assigned on your name only you need to think that part only okay don't think too much okay so automation automation what job that is uh, too much coding uh, what code i need to write you are tense means you cannot do anything understanding right do not think too much let let them give any uh, task first they will they will give you a task they will give you kt what is called kt kt means what knowledge transfer yes they will provide the knowledge transfer okay don't panic okay so let them give the any task and you can start okay you are thinking overthinking and uh, you are you are tense and you are not able to do anything means that is the uh, that will create more problem okay so let once the opportunity will come cool you can uh, take a time they will provide you all the requirements and they will tell you kt and they will tell you how to do also okay they will tell you each and everything okay they will provide the documents okay in the testing requirements yeah so so they will provide all the things see the requirements will be taken by say in the requirement capturing only in that phase only they will take the all the requirements okay the product owner 
uh, will take care of all the things what are the customer expectations and what are the customer needs each and everything they will take it all the information okay i will tell you there are uh, there are requirement documents will be there drs business requirement specification document srs software requirement specification document frs functional requirement specification document we'll see that all the things we'll see okay first we will start with the requirements once the requirements is done then we can go for analysis part once the analysis part is done then we will go for a design part once the design is done we will developer will start working on the coding once the coding is done testing is involved okay once the testing is done implementation once the implementation is done then we will go for a support and maintenance okay you can tell the same thing okay the terminology is different planning defining designing building testing and deployment so these terminologies you can use or else you can use this terminology also not a problem both are the same but terminologies are different okay so planning requirements defining analysis designing designing coding building testing testing implementation means deployment okay either you can tell in interview this one or or else you can tell this one okay both are the same only okay okay now one of the most important uh, session guys this is the general topic okay this is the only general topic we will see what kind of documents will come and we'll see all the what exactly developer will do what qa will do we'll see today okay anybody have any question in meanwhile anybody have any question is it clear yes yes okay. sir. please rest yeah please respond guys okay if you sit quiet means i cannot understand right whether you are understand or not okay that's fine see now durga is what our client you know right durga software right durga is what our client now durga want one website for his business okay so what he need to do he need to approach to whom to the it companies right so he want his business uh, for the business needs he want some website or some software okay so what durga will do durga will need to approach the software companies okay so durga will give what request for a proposal rfp now durga is giving the request for a proposal to some of the it companies any it companies so what it companies will do it companies will come up with the proposal hey i'm ready to do your project yes i'm ready to do your project so in the proposal document what will be their technical solution what is the technical solution what we are using for recording and all the things they will return what is the cost of the project what is the schedule what is the timeline when we will give your project each and everything they will given in where in proposal document if durga accept that proposal hey i like your proposal yeah we can start our work then what we need to do they will go with sow what is called sow a signed statement of work order now from the client and organization the agreement order will be there agreement means what yes we will do your project and because you are accepted my proposal in the proposal document each and everything is written what is the technical solution what is the cost what is the schedule and what is the timelines everything they are accepted okay the client is accepted organization is accepted then what they will do they will go with agreement agreement means what a signed statement of work order okay in it agreements are very very important okay now organization it company got a, a project understand me right i'm telling just example don't no need to worry guys if you are not understand no this topic also not a problem but i am i want to try to just i want to say what developer will do what tester will do once the project will come okay just i'm giving overview okay so once the agreement is done from it company what they will do they will conduct one meeting that is the first meeting that we can call it as kick off meeting okay then it companies will be identify whom project manager see project manager is what it's very very important person in the project okay so project manager is one of the important person okay so they will identify it company they find uh, they identify one guy is as a project manager what project manager will do the project manager will prepare one document that document we can call it as what pmp what is called pmp project management plan hey guys congrats we got a project 
it's a good news then how we need to implement this project so the project manager will come up with the each and everything how we need to go with this project okay so how to initialize how to execute how to monitoring how to manage each and everything taken care by whom your project manager so in interview you have the project manager round is also will be there okay technical round after that project manager round will be there okay don't worry we will discuss what questions will come in the project manager okay here up to here you understand right so what is brs this is one of the most important one see the developer will not directly talk with the durga okay durga is our client right the developer will not directly talk with the durga and uh, testing team will not directly talk with the durga okay in between the client and organization one person will be there that person we can call it as what ba what is called ba anyone what is called ba 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 means what what is called ba BA means business analyst. Guys, are you understanding right? Yeah, you need to speak out, guys. BA means what? Business analyst. So the business analyst will collect all the information what is the required for the project. Okay, not developer, not tester. Okay, so in between the BA, you can also become a BA guy. Okay, business analyst also you can also become a BA. Good communication, good retaining skills little bit project knowledge like domain knowledge that that is enough for ba good communication skills just take the information from the client and pass to the organization take the information from the client and pass the information to the client uh, organization understanding right so ba what is called ba business analyst will collect all the information and they will they create one document that document we can call it as what uh, brs business requirement specification document okay is it clear right everyone once the brs we got that brs we converted into a srs because developer will cannot understand right what they're talking and what they say it's a normal talk okay they cannot understand so we need to convert it into that into technical terminology so brs once the brs document we got right that we converted into srs document srs is very very important okay based on the srs what developer will do what tester will do see this is the clear picture what developer will do what tester will do don't ask me what developer will do what tester will do if you observe, if you understand this topic 50 percent you can gain the knowledge okay so what developer will do initially what developer will do the developer will go with the designs like models architectural designs db designs what is called db what is called db guys what is called DB? DB. sorry db db means what yes correct database okay you need to speak database. out guys whether it is right or not. ah correct you need to speak out guys you need to talk communication is one of the most important one either you want to talk telugu you can talk in telugu either you want to talk in hindi you can talk in hindi but don't sit idle okay so db means what database designs okay and ui what is called ui ui user interface Yes, correct user interface design and uml unified modeling language so there are some designs will be there screens will be there home screen login screen logout screen each and everything they will given in the diagrammatic way based on this based on this the developer will do what coding the developer will start writing the coding once the coding is done what you need to do see guys this is one of the most important one code review what is meaning of code review any person okay suppose i am writing the test cases okay the senior person will review your test cases similar way what are the developer who has written the code right that code will not directly push into the server okay in between the peer review or a code review senior person will review your code because if i'm not review means what will happen what are the code is written that person will directly push into the server means again a lot of issues again we'll get back into again there is a lot of time waste so review is one means what who will do the review not everyone not everyone cannot do the review right who has the more experience who have more knowledge on that area there they can only do the reviews okay so once the coding is done then they will go with what 
code review okay once the code review is done then what they will do unit level testing what is called unit level testing guys what is called white box testing, testing. Yeah. white box testing See. so this is one of the most important one because they need to check right whether whether my code is working properly or not before i send to the qa so what white box testing is always done by the developers yesterday we we uh, we learned right so unit level testing unit level testing is done by whom developer why because what are the code i'm written what are the code i written it is working properly or not i need to check before i'm sending that code to the testing team so unit testing is one of the most important one interview question white box testing okay once the unit level testing is done developer will do one more testing that is what integration testing we will discuss each and every topic we will discuss okay integration means what combining the two modules okay they're combining the two modules and they check whether the two modules are working uh, properly or not whether the two com the, whether the two modules are communicating properly or not they will check okay here the developer job is completed he always go with the design he always write the code and he will code review he will go with your code review once the code review is done he will do the unit level testing once the unit level testing is done then they will go with integration testing understanding right here the developer part is completed now everyone is asking what testing team will do what testing team do so most of the people are saying finding the defects only that only they will tell no the testing team have a lot of things we need to do what testing team will do test plan see this is one of the most important one before we start any project for test test plan is required what is the test plan what we need to do in what what we need to test what we need not to test so each and everything will be written in where in the test plan in the test plan is prepared by who can anyone know who is prepared the test plan anybody have any tester, idea tester plan test lead okay test lead good so test lead will prepare what test plan lead have a lot of experience right lead have a lot of knowledge in that area so the test plan prepared by your test lead okay lead will take care of all the things once the test plan is done then they will see once when not they assign any task right what you need to do test scenarios you need to write the test scenarios scenarios means what what i need to verify now i'm asking test the water bottle so what you will test in that water bottle can anyone tell me Te what you will test in that water bottle now i'm asking you to test the water bottle in the water bottle what you will test can anyone answer that one what you will test in the water bottle how much can you have water in or not ah that's a one scenario yes water or normal or water water cap water label bottle label or whether it is use and throw or what is the size what is the color what is the label is all or what test scenario scenarios are very 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 important understanding it now i ask you to test the pen in the pen what you need to test what i need to verify in the pen pen cap body color ink these all will comes on where in the scenarios so first of all in any and anyone ask you to test that object means first of all you need to identify the scenarios scenarios means what what i need to test now just example water bottle will be there in the water bottle what i need to test in the water bottle yes cap body shape width height what type of water understanding right so these all are what scenarios understanding right once you identify the scenarios then what you need to write you need to write the test cases what is meaning of test cases condition what is the condition the water bottle cap should be pink so you need to check whether your your water bottle cap will be pink or not okay so actual result is equal to expected result what i'm expecting the bottle should be a pink color yes the pink color cap will be there actual result is equal to expected result so the, once you identify the test scenarios after that what you need to do you need to write the test cases once the test cases is done see this code will be there right 
the developer has written the code right that code will comes to us now we need to do what integration testing what we need to do we need to do the integration testing and after that what you need to do system testing what is meaning of system testing can anyone tell me what is meaning of system testing system means what the name itself we have system system testing means what entire the application you need to test not only one module okay so you need to test end to end e to e so production testing so each and everything where we can do in the system testing once the system testing is done then what kind of testing you will do user acceptance testing alpha testing and beta testing the coming sessions we will discuss okay don't worry today i'm just giving the overview of what developer will do and what tester will do okay so here the user acceptance testing alpha testing and beta testing once alpha testing is done beta testing is done then what we need to do production and implementation okay once the production and implementation is done release is done then what you need to do support and maintain so what developer will do what tester will do so before we start the testing you need have some idea what developer will do developer will write the code based on the design based on the requirements and once done the code once the done the code what they will do they will go with the code review code review is done by the senior person code comments will be there if they pass any comments right they modify the code again they will again they move to the code review once the code review is approval is got then they will go for a unit level testing once the unit level testing is completed then they will go for integration level testing here the developer part is completed what about tester what what exactly what tester will do what is my job what is my role test plan we always follow the test plan what are the task is assigned on 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 us right what is the task is assigned on your name you need to write the test scenario scenarios means what what i need to verify they ask you to test credit card in the credit card what i need to test card type card number cvs expiry date what is the balance what is the un unbilled unpayment uh, say unbilled uh, payment bill right what is the unbilled amount so these all are what the scenarios once you identify the scenarios then you need to write the test cases once the test case is done what are the code is get right what are the code is we got right that we need to do a integration testing once the integration testing is done then we will go for a system testing system means what entire the application we need to test once the entire application we done you see the qa need to up, uh, give the approval okay so once you give an approval right uh, yes it is working as expected then only the then only that bill will go for the release that is the importance of qa if qa is not given the approval the team that the release will not go out understanding right that is what power of qa until unless the qa need to give the confirmation yes this build is working as expected so we certified the build what is the means you are qa team we certified the build then only they will take that build into for release the what is important i'm telling you importance of testing understanding right uh, people are thinking very less salaries uh, very less job no i am not agree you can get more salaries in testing also you can get more than developer salary also you will get more salary okay it purely depends on your talent your work and your knowledge okay but don't say there are very less salaries for testing developer is getting double salary no i am not agree we can we can get more than developer salary also when you have more skills you know python you know apis you know database you know everything you know cloud then definitely how much you are expecting in the market they will give you 30 lakhs also they will give you 40 lakhs also they will give you it purely depends on your knowledge okay so please do not compare anything with the salary i'm not agree testing people are getting very less salaries i'm not i'm not agree with that word understanding right compare with the knowledge you know more skills you know more talent you can end like anything you can demand that 18 lakhs 19 lakhs 20 lakh you can offer two three offers also you will get two three four offers because you are more demanded person you have more talented person organization is required where you are talent 
even they won't ask your certificates also if you are more talented you can please come and join tomorrow itself okay so people are looking for what talented guys so everyone is talented only but we are not those practice okay if you do practice if you uh, concentrate uh, more and more right easily we can get into this job guys easily focus only one or two months hard work within two months you are getting into this it thing okay it's not like a trial and error just uh, i want to do some trial and error means we cannot get into this job okay you need to have some seriousness you need to have focus definitely you will get into a good position okay initially you will not get right hard work like one or two years you need to struggle definitely you need to struggle after two years you will you will enjoy your entire your life understanding right once opportunity once you got an opportunity your life will completely will be changed organization will provide you everything don't worry you will not miss any fun you will not miss anything everything the organization will provide you know we have 30 days holidays for december understanding right so don't worry about that one just focus how i need to get into the job as soon as possible okay so whatever you learn learn properly and get in attend the number of interviews and get into the job okay talk you need to talk with everyone who are working in it people you just talk with them uh, yesterday i learned this one uh, what is brs uh, is what is meaning of brs uh, i learn srs can you explain more on srs can you explain what is frs so you can talk with the people who are working in the real time then explorer will come like explore means you can uh, get more information okay that's fine so this is what uh, generally how the project will comes to the organization i told you right we involved in the testing so first test plan the test plan is design your test lead once the task is come right you need to identify the test scenarios once you identify the test scenarios you need to write the test cases once the test cases is done you need to do the integration testing once the integration testing is done then we need to move to the system testing once the system testing is done then we need to go for user acceptance testing alpha testing and beta testing once it is done then we go for a production and implementation once the production and implementation is done then we will go for a support and maintenance okay is it clear guys anybody have any question now you have a clear idea what developer will do what tester will do okay so is it clear yeah yeah go ahead anybody have any questions here uh, see your voice is too low can you can you speak out loudly can anyone hear that hello? voice yeah what is integration hello yeah yeah integration right yeah we will explain you see what is integration you know right the name itself we have the integration see you are a developer okay now you are a developer right you are a developer and i am also one of the developer okay so what 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 developer job just now we discussed right developer is write what code so what code you are writing you are implementing home page okay so after code what you will do code review once code review is done what we will do white box testing good question so yeah now you are a dev one okay i don't know what is doing okay. dev one dev two is myself is dev two okay now my job is also same i'm writing the code okay hmm. same process i need to do what code so code review code first i need to write code code review next is what unit level testing hmm level testing here we both will done right now so, so now what we need to do this is this guy is what qa guy another guy is there okay now it's a qa guy now how the qa guy test these two things okay now you are a QA. Now I am implementing what images page. Okay. Now there are two modules. What are they? Home module and images module. So how you will test this one? Okay. How you will test this one? Now there is a server. Okay.
okay in between us what is that server will be there now this guy will push the code what are the code is written right this code will push into where into the server this guy is also there right this guy is also pushing to the code into the server now what will happen these two code will be merged right merge means what combined now what developer will do developer will do the integration testing these two code are merged properly or not okay that is what developer job once the code is merged right you will see the build build means what this is raw code raw code means we cannot test so they will convert it into this raw code into the form of what build this build will assign to whom to the qa build is nothing but url you will get what url url means what amazon.com or abc.com abc.com now as a qa guy what you need to do you need to test these two things we not test the code right we need to test the two things like when or the qa guy open this url what you need to check home page and another one is what another module is what can you speak out another module is what guys images hmm, you need to speak images now as a qa guy need to check integration integration means what whether these two modules are communicating properly or not now this guy click the home page means home page should display if this guy is click the images means images page should be displayed so the the both modules have what communication is there if the communication is broken means something went wrong say there is a bug so you need to report back to the developer okay i will explain you guys don't worry that is the next chapter okay so that's the reason today i just give the overview okay the next topic we need to get into all the topics okay and this all are very very important integration testing how we can do the integration testing and all okay is it clear i think i explained is it clear yeah good yeah. okay good don't worry guys it's very easy so what develop to today what we learn what developer will do developer will write the code after the code code review after the code review you need level testing okay that in case you want to move for a testing to developer also you need to do the same thing you need to write the code and the code review you need level testing then you need to match to the code into the server this code will convert it into where to the directly to the a uh, server right that code will convert it into the build format okay that build format will check into the qa guy what qa will do we never see the code see here we never see the code they are that's the reason they call it as a black box testing so we depend on what functionality in functionality and requirements in requirements is very clearly says in the requirements what they say click on uh, requirements click on home page home page should be displayed so this is what my requirement now i will click the home page what page should come home page should come requirement 2 click on uh, images images page should be displayed so if i click the images page right what page should come home page should not come images page should come if i click the images what page should come images page should be displayed understand right this is the yeah. way we need to test the application okay good guys good uh, anything else, guys? Anybody have Hello? a question? Is it clear? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Hello, I'm audible. Yes, yes, now it is clear. Go ahead. Yes, uh, sir, uh, I have the one general query regarding this. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no I'm from, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from the non technical background. If hmm. I build up this skill, uh, hmm. build up this skill, so can I able to join the join organization with that skill? or uh, any pre request regarding the company that a candidate having the technical skill or tech, uh, he's come from the technical background no see that purely depends on you you can go not a required uh, see that is uh, we need to learn any not required to learn anything okay so i told you right the communication is required if you have a good communication skill then you can attend that interview but now currently in which field you are working it's a non-technical right you have you use any applications or what what kind of job you are doing now what experience you yeah, have yeah i'm the, i have the it experience i am from the uh, i'm working in the operation team huh, so but operation. my uh, my education okay but my education is from the non-technical background no 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 so worries, a no company worries. having the yeah yeah because uh, many company having the prerequisites like the you a candidate from the technical background like uh, no, 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 no. or BS, like that. 
no 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 say there are thousand companies or million companies will be there that is if that only that company has the uh, your background uh, mcas and all the things you will not go for that company you can go for other companies also but uh, no one will ask you because here everyone will be the same only you know many of uh, people are who are in non it guys they they are easy to move to testing side okay because uh, uh, i mean sir we become a ba become candidate also can apply yeah, this yeah, for you can go you can you here become okay. bsc anyone chemistry uh, civil engineers lot of people are in the testing side on even civil engineers uh, you are no mechanical engineers because they are not getting a good opportunities they are earning the money but they are not getting a good uh, opportunity so the mechanical engineers you know they know some knowledge on mechanical side and all the things right in that side you can move to the testing side okay if you are really want to go for a mechanical side civil engineers also they will come into a good opportunity to come into the it side okay it it purely depends on your knowledge only not uh, not like uh, mm -hmm. mca is we required only mca guys no one will ask you like that even mba guys is also need to come into the it side you can it okay. purely depends okay but don't resign so oh, again one more question yeah don't resign the previous yeah, yeah. organization you can continue with that and parallel you can try this one yeah go ahead okay sure yeah and one more question so hmm. for this uh, testing so we have the fully knowledge of the database it is possible we can build up the knowledge as well parallelly with the database sql yeah if you learn means that is the advantage say one project to say suppose there are multiple projects right one project they want both skills like manual and auto, uh, manual and sql so if you have the sql mm -hmm. right that definitely they will pick you right that opportunity will comes you right it's not mandatory if you learn the things if see you and me will be there you are you and you and me i'm going to the interview but they are asking me uh, you know sql i said i don't know but the same question they ask you Uh, do you know SQL? Then you say that yes, I know SQL and I know the manual. Definitely, the opportunity will comes to you, right? So learning the things will never be waste. So you, what are the things you learn? Definitely, it will help you in your career. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. That. So that whatever you learn, anything, anything, there definitely it will help you in life. No doubt at all. Because you are, uh, I'm a technical person. Uh, i'm not a non technical person but I, i need to share the knowledge with you right because i don't know uh, anything say i don't i buy a car but i don't know what exactly how it is work definitely i need to discuss with the non technical guy on it, that i need to discuss how it works and all the things see it's a no, it's a kind of knowledge sharing so here anyone can uh, anyone can get into this area not at all okay if you are going with the coding side means you need to learn proper uh, language like java go java python you need to learn otherwise you can without uh, programming knowledge also you can switch into this but communication is important thank you all right thank you guys anything else guys last call yeah. anything else to discuss no sir thank you thank you yeah Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks for your time. Have a nice. Uh, okay, we'll see on tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow what we will do is tomorrow we'll see the next topic. Okay, so it's not demo, guys. It's, uh, we are continuing the sessions. Okay, we'll see the next topic. Okay, thank you guys. Thanks for okay. your time. We'll see on tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Take care. Yeah. You too, sir. Yeah. Bye. Bye.